There's a saying, another person's trash is another person's treasure, but there's a group of hobbyists giving that new meaning. Michael L. George introduces us to magnet fishers. Two. At the side of the highway on a bridge over the Bronx River, James Kane is casting his line in the hopes of finding his fortune. He and his partner Barbie Agostini are magnet fishers. Take a strong neodymium natural earth magnet, which you can find on Amazon, uh, and you tie it to the end of a rope, and you literally throw it anywhere people can regular fish, and you'll be pulling out anything metallic. Kane and Agostini started yeah, magnet right. fishing as a pandemic hobby, not knowing it would become a career. Their YouTube channel, Let's Get Magnetic, has more than 10,000 subscribers, waiting to see what sunken treasure they'll reel in next. They say they found more than a dozen guns, a grenade. This is our second grenade we ever found. And recently, they scored big. Oh my God, there's a stack of money. There's a stack of money. No way. The pair made national headlines after finding a safe in Queens, New York. This one had two giant stacks of $100 bills in it. The cash, which they say is being verified by the Treasury Department, is estimated to be fifty dollars to $80,000. But magnet fishers say a typical haul doesn't earn much money. We find actually a lot of uh, construction equipment, like rebar, tools, bits of uh, screws and everything. That's probably the most common. So what keeps them coming back? For me personally, it's the unknowingness of it. It's like a lottery ticket every time you throw the, the magnet in the water. Angling for any big catch. Look at that! History! That will stick to a magnet. Michael George, CBS News, New York. Different states have different laws regarding magnet fishing fines. Kane says all the guns they found were handed over to police as required by New York law.